guys, it's Tandy here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Okay, so today um, we are going to be showing you how to plant and all the way up until harvest of um, the cucumbers. So yeah, we have um, have these seeds here. Uh, if you can see, that we get um, our, some of our seeds from a place called Premier Seed Direct. So yeah, these are the cucumbers, they're um, Telegraph cucumbers. And now, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna show you now um, how we are going to be planting them. Um, and then I'll show you the progress and then I'll show you up all the way up to um, we harvest. So enjoy the video guys. Okay guys, so this is our general uh, mix for the, for the trays that we're gonna be using. The mix is 20% um, manure, 10% compost, and then the rest is soil. Okay guys, so um, we're now going to plant up the cucumbers, the tray's all ready and we're just going to put one of the seeds per hole. Okay guys, so now we're just covering them up, um, we're going to water them and then um, yeah, we'll check back in a couple of days and see um, if they've germinated. So we are back with the cucumbers and as you can see we have a lot more now that have come up. It's now the 6th so it's 6 days um, after they've been planted and it's been about 3 days since um, they germinated, the first germination. And we've still got some new ones coming up here, I just had to pull one just pulled that one because it wasn't looking good and I felt like it might actually be diseased seed so I pulled that and yeah I'm just gonna go around and um, pull some of these competing weeds up of the tray okay guys so I'll check back in another three days just to see if any of these gaps um, just want to see if any of these gaps get filled out and if we get any more germination at the moment I'd say probably we've got about um, at the moment I'd say probably we've got about 70 to 80% germination but if I can calculate it right I think about I think I'd probably say about 80% germination Good morning guys hope you're well so today is 13 days since we've um, planted the cucumber and we are ready to um, transplant them into the small bags and these small bags are um, transition between um, the seedling trays and their final place which is going to be the I think they are 10 litre bags I'll have to show I'll, I'll, I'll write down how, how many litre bags they're going to be going into and then they're going to be moved into the tunnel. So yeah guys, I'm going to show you the whole process of how we um, transplant the seeds into the small bags. Seems that they have been germinating almost a uh, hundred percent. I think I think I counted it was about 96 percent germination. Mm. Mm.
go, so it's transplant day uh, for the cucumbers. They've been making flowers. The perplexing thing about this variety is that we thought it was a vining variety, but what it seems is like it's not making any vines. Like it's literally going to be a bush, which is perplexing because I thought they were telegraph cucumbers and telegraph cucumbers should be vining. So yeah, guys, we're busy in the tunnel. Uh, I'll show you in there now what we're doing. And yeah, we're transplanting the cucumbers. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see over the next couple of weeks whether they actually do end up vining or they will just stay as bushes. Hey guys, so this will be my final update. It is uh, February 20th um, and yeah, it's been, it's, ba it's basically the end of summer now and um, what we can see, um, a lot of the plants are still holding on for dear life. We can see is we've trellised them on these poles. Um, but we've had a lot of trouble with the plants there's been a lot of the dying back um, and we think it's because of the heat and the cultivar however we do have fruit so yeah despite it all we do have some fruit uh, growing but as you can see we also have death <laughs> so as my first first attempt at growing cucumber in the northern cape of south africa what we know is that we need to choose a cultivar that can handle this type of heat um though the plants that did survive are actually doing quite well and as you can see here we have a very nice sized uh 
It'll come out of the light. <clears throat> so as you can see here, guys, we have a very lovely sized um, cucumber. Um, it's growing nicely and straight. A lot of the ones that were on their way out grew in a curved way. But yeah, we can see quite a few that have actually straightened out and are actually starting straight. So maybe we're past a bit of a rough patch with them. And from this point on, as we can see, this plant is very tall already. I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do about trellising when it comes down to it. But hopefully uh, these sticks, if we need to get a taller stick, these will probably have to come up to here looking at the size of them already but yeah guys we have fruit very first cucumber i'm going to take one of the big ones off and cut it and show you the inside of it now but yeah i mean it was definitely say a semi successful first attempt at growing cucumbers here's a very nice big one that's a beautiful one so yeah guys, um, I, I, I'm, I'm moderately happy, moderately happy with the results. Unfortunately, obviously, I can't do anything about 45 degree heat and the kind of cultivar that we chose. Except for next time, choose different cultivar. But yeah, I think that's my lesson, guys. The lesson is choose the right cultivar for the right area. Um, and then basically really do everything that we did because everything we did seemed to work. It was just an, an, a, a circumstance we couldn't control. So yeah guys, I think I'm going to take this one. I think I'm going to pluck this, cut it open and show it to you guys. So thanks guys for joining me. Hope you um, like, comment and subscribe. Tell me your issues, your problems, and your successes with growing cucumber in the comment section. Ask me any questions. And yeah, and hopefully we can learn together because this has definitely been a learning experience. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.